Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about solo shuffle. Is it good or is it bad? So I'm gonna be talking about in this video, gearing, should they be scaled up? Should they not be? What's up with that? Uh, what about the people who leave the game mid game? What should happen to them? Should they be punished? Should they not be punished? And the people that are in the game that are not getting rating or losing rating, should they be punished? I mean, not, <laughs> they should not be punished. No, they should not be punished. Should they get their rating? Sorry. Uh, so yeah, should they be punished by not getting the rating or uh, what tanks? Should they be in there? Should they have the option to queue up or should they just be gone? And uh, MMR, we'll talk about the MMR real quick. MMR, it's messed up. Simple as that. It's pre-patch, it's messed up. Uh, you can queue 2400 and queue into somebody that's zero CR. All the MMR is just not there. It's uh, going to be in Dragonflight. You know, I'm sure it'll be in Dragonflight. They'll fix it all up and that's that you know no talking about that really because it's just not in the game exactly how it's supposed to be and that will be fixed in dragonfly i'm sure if it's not then it's a problem <laughs> yeah so if it's not it's a problem i'll definitely say so gearing let's go on to gearing um gearing should not be affected at all you should not be able to scale up you should not scale up at all because gearing is easy in shadow dragonfly sorry gearing is easier in dragonfly than it is in shadowlands and shadowlands was easy to gear up gearing up in shadowlands was good it was not perfect but it was a lot better than bfa they, they can do better than this but i'm what i'm saying is you can't say shadowlands gearing is bad it's way better than it was in the past and in, in some of it but way back in the past it was way better of course but they're going to the system where gearing will be super easy again so it won't be a problem and you should not be under gear in the first place but even if you are playing with under gear people the person is going to lose every single round at least he should and he's going to take six losses while whenever you're playing with him you're going to take three losses your rating is going to go up while his goes straight down and pretty much all these undergeared people they're going to be super low rating they're not going to be able to get anywhere you know anybody with gear is going to be higher rating them than them even if they're bad so gearing is really not going to be an issue in my opinion i don't think it will be so for the people moving on moving on should you punish people for leaving should you yes you should punish them or else they'll keep doing it. How do you punish them? In my opinion, the person who leaves. Now, of course, you're not going to just ban their account because people have emergencies. You know, you're not going to reset their 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 rating because people have emergencies. Uh, but we're gonna, I, what I would say the best option is something along these lines is drop their points, make them lose rating about 30 points, and then lower their personal MMR by 50 so you're going to be dropping their points by 30, which will already lower their MMR, and then you will drop their personal MMR to around 50. So the goal of this is to really make sure people don't leave because people are leaving and it, it's really messing people up. And uh, the reason why I'm saying these big numbers is this part right here. Win trading. People are going to be wanting to win trade with their buddies you know they're going to queue up with their friend and they're gonna know their other friend needs some rating this a little bit of rating so they are going to queue up together they would win two games oh i got my two wins let's just secure it in let's just make you know what this is good this is good for right now and then they're just gonna leave their friend is gonna leave and then they're if you kept points then that person would be up two wins but right now you don't keep your points you lose your points so if this were the case of people keeping their points this is what people would do and then to um to um keep it you know keep people away from each other kind of doing that if they were to leave they would get 30 points off and then lower their MMR so they couldn't really meet up again. They can if the uh, second person plays a lot, you know, but what I'm thinking is 30 points plus 50 MMR maybe, and then maybe even like a 30 minute deserter, 30 minute to 45 minute deserter, and maybe even, hear me out, don't know if this one's a good idea, account wide, because what if they have two characters? Or what if they had two characters? They just do it on one character and then they get on their other and do it on the other one. That's like, if you're getting three wins, that's a whole, that's a whole solo shuffle queue. And uh, six, that's six wins guaranteed. That's six wins guaranteed. So yeah, something along those lines. I don't know exactly how it would all go. And then again, I guess people could really, if they wanted to, they could get their friend and then that friend just throws every single game. You know, every time he's on his teammate's um side, he tries his heart out and then every time he's not he just throws for him so he would stay up three wins and then the other boy, guy would stay up six wins so i don't know exactly know how that 
go but then uh yeah don't know exactly how that would go but i think this could be a good idea a good solution maybe looking into something this but making sure we uh i think we should keep the points the same nobody gets points if you win you know so if somebody leaves nobody gets any points at all nobody gets any points taken away from you i think just that one person should have something not insanely bad but really bad to, i mean detrimental to the point where they don't want to do this where it's difficult for them to do this kind of win trading because that's the thing that we're worried about is the win trading that's what they are worried about if it wasn't, then I think it would be a super easy fix, but this is the only thing I can think of that it would be the problem of. So for tanks, moving on to tanks, 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 tanks. This is a kind of weird one. Also, tanks in solo shuffle, whenever you're queuing up, you queue two DPS and a healer normally, but sometimes you get those games where it's a tank and two DPS, and would you rather have them, or would you rather have them be gone out of here? And if you want them, then you're weird. No, but if you want them, then what we need to be looking at, what Blizzard needs to be looking at, is evening the tanks out. The tanks don't need to be, oh, Prop Paladin is a 10 out of 10 for PvP, and the Guardian Druid is a, you know, a 7 out of 10. And then, you know, maybe, well, maybe it's like 7 to 8 out of 10. And then we got these other tanks around here, Brewmaster Monks, and uh, <laughs> Blood DKs, and then Vengeance Demon Hunters, I think that's all. Oh, no. Uh, Prot Warriors. We don't need all of those classes being like a 1 out of 10 <laughs> because let's be real, Prop Pally is beyond all of them. Prop Pally is just way beyond everybody. Prop Pally is literally a healer pretty much. Like they should take the roll tank off of that and put healer because it's just ridiculous. They have three abilities and uh, that is Word of Glory, Word of Glory, Word of Glory. And that's all they really need. They also have an angel that puts a shield, a bubble on you every, you know, for like 10 seconds, every like on a cooldown of 20 seconds or something ridiculous. I think it's 45 seconds. I actually don't know. I, I did see a prop pally set one on some guy. They end capped it. They said another one and then they like stunned it or something. And he said another one back to back to back three times. I have no idea what was going on. Super confused. But yeah, I think they need to uh, maybe nerf tone down. Down guardian druids damage a little bit i think everybody's seen that it is a big issue whenever when a tank is doing more damage than literally all dps in a battleground from a single button which is moonfire it's a single target button it's not even an aoe it's a single target so in arenas they do crazy damage as well they're doing more damage than dps and prop pallies are doing more healing than healers in threes and rated threes whenever i'll queue they would do just as much healing as me but they were a tank so they had damage and obviously they were a tank they had a bunch of defensive so you couldn't kill them you couldn't kill their teammates it's like they were a better version of a healer it was kind of ridiculous now also protection paladins pairs up with almost every single dps class in the game perfectly while guardian druid and the everything else doesn't because why protection paladin puts a shield on you for 10 seconds like i was saying where you're immune and you can cast kind of ridiculous but solo shuffle in general so solo shuffle is it good or bad i think it's good and the reason is because it's, it's going to separate the player from a lot of these other people say you don't have to find a team to uh queue up first off that's the best part about it super easy to queue up you just press queue up and you're queued up obviously you don't have to look for teammates and you also don't have these teammates that you found in lfg that you're sitting here playing 10 20 games with and you know they might be really not the best players and you think you're a little better than they are um you're going to eventually even out to the certain mmr that you're kind of going against people that are just as good as you not your team so it's really going to separate these players and you're going to see a lot of new people up here at the higher innings that you did not see and there is going to be uh maybe even a little bit of the opposite of these high players not as high as they used to be now i'm sure they will be high definitely but pr probably maybe maybe not as high as they were but well we'll just have to see about that i'm really curious how high i can get myself I think it'll definitely be a cool opportunity. It really shows you how good of a player you are. But at the same time, there is this thing kind of worrying me of there's probably going to be a class that just pairs with 
all the other classes way better than some other classes. Like, for example, I'm not saying this specifically for this classes, but like a warrior would pair up with, you know, maybe six or seven classes really good, really good. While, say, a rogue only pairs up good with four or five classes. So that warrior's at an advantage. But maybe we won't see as much as this. Maybe they're, you know, I don't know. We'll just have to really see going into Dragonflight. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really good change. I think it's a really good thing. A really good, you know, system. And those are all my thoughts on it, really. I don't think of any, I can't think of anything else that's, you know, wrong with it. But definitely drop it down in the comments if you can think of something. And I'll drop things down in the comments if I find anything new that I have uh, problems or if I forgot anything out of this video or not. But peace out.